Hello and welcome, my name is Axel K and I just hit an early legend landing me in top 1k in the beginning of the season with Face Hunter. Face Hunter is a hyper aggressive deck that's all about going face as much as possible. You put a ton of pressure out in the first couple of turns and then you end the game with cards such as Quick Shot, Aim Shot and Trampling Rhino. For your mulligan you wanna go for Adorable Infestation, Demon Companion, Intrepid Initiate, Wolper Tinger, Imprisoned Felma and Mancrick. You can also keep a Wound Prey together with an Intrepid Initiate for some early game control. Face Hunter is an amazing deck, it's pretty easy to play but there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Your hero power is one of the most powerful tools you have in the deck. Play minions in the early game but after around turn 4 or 5 try to weave it in as much as possible. The reason why the hero power is so great is that it aligns very well with your game plan. Deal face damage. But it also helps you curve out and keeps your hand size bigger. Don't over prioritize getting the draw from quick shot. It's better to fire it off to deal damage and to curve out if you've already hero powered. Piercing shot is very powerful to both control the board and deal face damage. Keep in mind that you can use this on your own minions to deal face damage to your opponent. I suggest holding onto a token from your adorable infestation or even better a wound prey to maximize the face damage from your piercing shot. If you haven't played Mancrick before, your Barak Codobane will always draw you a 1 cost spell, quick shot and an aim shot. This means that he's very good to play on turn 6, since you will have 1 mana over to use one of your 1 cost spells right away. And on turn 7 you can go quick shot, aim shot and hero power for a 10 damage burst. Remember to equip your true aim crescent before you play your rhino, since you can rush into a minion with your rhino dealing face damage, then you hit another minion with a weapon, causing the rhino to attack again and deal even more damage. And that's about it for face hunter, dominate the early game, curve out with your hero power and end the game with a rhino or some strong burn spells. Thank you guys so much for watching, this month is the one year anniversary of my channel, I never thought I would have this much success over the year. Seeing the response from all of you guys, whether it is a view, a like or a comment has always kept me motivated and I'm super grateful for it. Thank you. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, enjoy the games. Alright, we're a bit out of our comfort zone right now, being top 1k and all. Yeah, we recently just hit an early legend playing Face Hunter. This is by far my favorite deck and you're kind of, honestly, kind of favored against almost everything. You're super good against mages and all, and I think that we're even good against shaman. Even though everybody says that you're in the red. Um, the Neophyte could be good here. I'm not sure if this guy is gonna be elemental. Because I've, I've seen way more elementals. But let's just keep this. So I think that this deck isn't so much about just playing minions anymore. You kind of want to play your minions up to turn 4. And then you want to kind of just burst him down with uh, with burn spells like piercing shots and aim shots and uh, also your hero power is very important okay okay so this is uh, some sort of elemental shaman so a good thing about kind of um, oh there we go let's just drop the neophyte I guess so a good thing about trying to burn him down and stop playing minions on turn 4 around there at least is we can play around the slugger so I think the slugger is coming down soon. If he just does it now and we can clear it, then we're fine. But this isn't the best hand, of course. Hmm. Let's just go demon companion. That's good. We are not trading. I think that we might see a slugger. If we're not gonna see a slugger here, then we'll be happy. And by the way, when you're playing aggressive things, it's super important that you just use your mana. So. You could be tempted to hold on to the quick shot here, uh, just to draw. Okay, actually, now we can get a Wolpertinger, I guess. So, like, this Wrangler is pretty bad here. But we could develop... I mean, it's so dependent on if he gets a Slogger or not. Actually, discovering a Wolpertinger isn't even the best here. Because we could use that Wolpertinger later to shoot it with a Piercing Shot. So, we could... Just go steady shot, quick shot, but I think we might need this quick shot for something else. Let's just get this Wolpertinger then. Uh, we could clear here, but I'm just gonna take the chance that he doesn't have the slugger. Basically, like, this is a bit of a gamble. So if he has the slugger now, we just lose. Uh, but there's a good chance of us winning if, uh, if he doesn't. So now he kind of has to trade into us. And we can use our Rhino to just uh, deal some damage to him. I think we can push this with the Rhino because all I'm caring about right now is um, 
the face damage. I wish I could play the Kodo Bane here because we're actually getting super close to lethal. Okay, push 4 damage. We could probably do something like that soon again with the other Trampling Rhino. And then we can start drawing our spells. Actually, like, these Wolpertingers are huge, so we could curve out pretty nicely. Like, if we have the opportunity next turn, we could go Kodo Bane into Wolpertinger. I think that's something, but I definitely want to start weaving in my Steady Shots. I think that uh, the hero power is actually one of the best things, like, one of the best parts of Hunter. So, I think we can kill him in... I want to say two turns. It can be hard. We could just go, I guess, Rhino and Wolpertinger here. But I also kind of want to draw. So let's see. If if I play Kodo Bane, I'm gonna draw probably like a quick shot and an aim shot. That aim shot is super good for next turn. I could go quick shot, aim shot for 10. So if I can spill over... Hmm... So I can quick shot him now, but then I can't go Kodo Bane. I think we need to play Kodo Bane here. However, I think we're just gonna be like slightly off lethal. Because the aim shot does 7. So we need to kill him in 2 turns. I think if he starts clearing we can do it and if he doesn't play a slugger. But we were, like, very close to just killing him. Actually, if he hits uh, a minion here, then we might just kill him. But he has to clear, right? Oh, that's super good for us. Yeah. Just toss things in here. I think that kind of settles it. I think we're just winning here. So, whatever he plays, good. So, we don't want to play minions now. So, he can't rush into anything with the slugger. And I think we have enough for a lethal here. So, we just got aim shot, shoot him in the face, hero power, quick shot, and next turn we can just quick shot hero power. Boom. Or we could like uh, quick shot wound prey. So yeah, this is kind of more of a spell burst, spell burst deck, and when you come, when you're up here, like uh, in around 7, actually after 4 mana, all you kind of want to do is um, just... I don't know, hit him with spells and play around like sluggers and all of that. There we go, super easy. You can beat shamans, you can beat anything you want, because face hunter is amazing. I think uh, paladin can be difficult, but I don't care. I've beaten paladins before. So we're probably looking at a Libram, so we definitely kind of just want to kill him as quickly as possible. We could save the demon companion as a one drop, I guess. Because we really want to get this Imprisoned Felma down. I think that you should play Imprisoned Felma. I know that some face hunters are not playing it. I think it's actually one of the best cards in the deck. Do you guys want to know which card I think in this meta is the best card in the in the deck? I think it's Barak Kodobain. So good. So, as I said before, you kind of just want to kill them with spells after turn 4 or 5-ish. I think just refilling your hand and getting like those guaranteed aim shots and and quick shots and all of that is super powerful. So we could clear this right away instead of developing the Felma. That might be better. But our next turn is gonna be super awkward. So when would that Felma be coming down? I guess maybe next turn then. I kind of want to protect this. I think if I protect this now, it's gonna deal more than 5 damage. That's my humble opinion. And then we wanna track. And we just wanna get something good. Maybe card draw or something. We want... Actually, piercing shot would be nice, but we're taking that demon companion so we can play it next turn. Because we just wanna curve out and spend our mana. So next turn we can go imprison Felma together with the demon companion. It sucks that we can't kill that now. We might want to run this into it, so it doesn't have a buff target. But no, if he buffs it with Hand of a Doll, it's gonna die to our taunt, so... We kind of lucked out a little bit there, and... <clears throat> I think we take the Wrangler, so we play the Wrangler next turn, probably. 
We have like only good uh, turn four plays. So, okay, so it's Libram, yeah. I think the Wrangler is super good here. So we just, um, we pick the Rhino, of course, so we can clear something big. I don't think we're just, like, we don't necessarily have to play the Rhino to, to win. Like, that's not necessarily our win condition. But I think we're just going for it to clear his big things, right? Hopefully he can't kill the Wrangler. So if we have the opportunity, we just drop the Rhino. But getting that rifle down is pretty good. So I guess one strategy that we could do here is that we could hit with the Rindling's rifle, try to get a freezing trap, and then we kind of... We try to clear his board until he plays his hope. But I don't like that. I would rather just kind of go as hard as I can and try to kill him. So now we just Rhino. Go face, please. Oh. Oh. And the true aim. True aim together with the Rhino is so good. So let's clear this one and hit him in the face. So I just don't want to give him back the, uh, the buff now. I think... I don't think it's gonna matter, but I feel like it's better to just trade off the Bannerman. So, we don't want to see Samuro. Okay. I mean... I think we just kill him, right? Then, then we just steady shot and win. <laughs> I mean, Hunter is kind of low-key broken, right? Right, last but not least, Rogue. I think rogues can be hard. I think that we are up against some pretty good, pretty good rogues here. I mean, we could go true aim on one, but who likes that? We always go Felma. Felma is gonna be super good. So we drop the Intrepid Initiate on one. I think even if we get a buff, we're probably going Imprisoned Felma. So, not sure what this guy is. It's not quest, right? Because I think this is always the quest. Let's play the Initiate. Actually, like, having this, uh... True Aim Crescent is really good, because if we go for a Rhino, we can definitely do some big things, like we can... We can go Rhino, hit, and then trade with the True Aim Crescent, and then hit with the Rhino again, just dealing a million damage. But we want to make sure to get this Imprisoned Felma down. Okay, interesting. Let's just get the Felma down. We don't have any spells, so there wasn't much of a decision here. Um... Turn, so we're probably gonna Wrangler on four, so we wanna make sure to set up our True Aim Crescent then. Okay, so it is uh, bleed. So we might go Wolpertinger. Oh, this is super good. However, okay, so we have to play the Wolpertinger because I'm, I refuse to not curve out. Actually, if we, if the Wolpertinger stick for next turn, then we might not even go for the Rhino, but I really want this uh, True Aim Crescent to be um, to be active if we pick the Rhino. But as I said, if we just kill him too quickly, like if we get a bunch of damage here, we did. Then we might just actually go Wolpertinger next turn and just hit him super hard, because that might represent more damage than a Rhino could. But it's also kind of nice to, to draw Rhino, I guess. But I think, like, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, an Octobot is coming down here, and then he's gonna ping it with, like, an Og Merchant or something. I think our hand is so fast. Look at me, man. Just predicting everything. I think it depends a little bit about how the Felma hits. So hopefully it goes face. It didn't. Hmm. All right. To Wolpertinger or to not Wolpertinger? How would our turn 5 look if we Wolpertingered now? We would go Wolpertinger on 5. Then we would go Steady Shot and Imprisoned Felma. So it kind of curves out actually. So I'm actually taking this Wolpertinger here. Call me crazy. And then I just want to hit him in the face here. Um. I'm thinking that we just kill this, though. He could probably step this and then have a huge pop-off turn, but it's really hard for him to ki like kill a wide board like this one. Okay. 
It's time to pop off. That's a flinger. That's a thief. I think as long as we have space for Wolpertinger and uh, Felma, then we're gonna be good. And also hitting that hero power is really good. I think... I wonder how much he's gonna clear, like he hasn't really spent any mana on this turn, he just played for... he just paid for uh, the field contact. Maybe I should have gone for the Rhino, but I don't know, I have a feeling that I can just kind of steamroll him. Oh my god. He plays all day. Oh my god, what a pop off. Okay. <laughs> okay, always go Rhino, I'm sorry. I've learned my lesson. So I'm, I'm thinking like... Um, Yeah, we, of course we kill this, right? But... Yeah. Actually, like, a Neophyte wouldn't be bad here. These are coming down for sure. Then it's the question, do we Felma or do we Neophyte? I think we Neophyte. Because I could play both. But I most definitely want a Hero Power, because if I just Hero Power here... I kill him in three turns. Actually, if I hit here, I kill him with the True Aim Crescent next turn. But I'm scared that he's gonna kill me. I, I just need to find like a Wound Prey or something. That's what I'm kind of banking on. Like that last pop-off turn. Ooh. But yeah, we have a bunch of damage on board. We made some big Wolpertingers, but I think he's gonna have an insane turn this turn. It's probably what he's thinking about. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, here comes the spell power. It's okay, we just go face. We are face hunters. We're not scared of people like this. <laughs> okay, good thing we cleared the field contact. <laughs> I got kind of scared there for just one second. Oh. Alright, I think you should play Face Hunter, it's the best deck in the game. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. Peace.